this. So my last episode aired, and I got a call from Pastine, and they said they saw my episode, they loved it. I was so excited, and they said they sent me a package. We got to see what it's like. Oh my God. This is like Christmas. It is. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Oh That's beautiful. beautiful. Thank you from your friends at Pastine. I think I know what I'm gonna do with this box right now. Pasta and beans. Pasta and yeah. beans, good yeah. job. Good we have the Italian peeled tomatoes, we have the pasta, so it's gonna be pasta and beans. Now, you know pasta and beans is like a traditional Italian dish. Um, it ranges from the Alps to the Mediterranean. Every village does it different. Now, growing up Italian-American, I've experienced many variations of pasta and beans. Yep. Pasta and beans, pasta fagioli, hey, pasta fagioli. Pasta fagioli. <laughs> right how I know. So, I kind of incorporated all my family recipes and made it my own. So today I'm gonna make this for you. Nice. With this Your great spin. box. We have my skin on like pasta and beans. And you know what, pastine. They pastine. sent this to me and this is a tribute to pastine. Pasta and beans. Oh look, I really like pastine. <laughs> This is perfect timing for me because I'm going out. I'm gonna leave the meat there, and you can cook for me. Right? Are you going out for dinner? I am. Oh, wait, will you so come back for dessert? He would order just a pizza or instead of pizza, I'm having pasta and beans. That's right, Pete. I'm, I'm, and I'm gonna teach you how to make it. So we need wine. That's wine. Good. I have a beautiful red for you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm gonna say that looks good right there. Perfect. So tell me what the pasta and beans. How are you gonna make this? I never had pasta okay. and beans that look like this. I prepped everything for you so it would be easy for you to understand so you can make it for Jenny one night and for my Alexia foodies. So, this is it. We're gonna start with some Vidalia onions. I chopped up coarse. So they don't have to be perfect, but you want them to be coarse. I did some fresh garlic, six, seven cloves. Smells delicious four or five stalks of fresh uh, celery, and the inner leaves. The inner leaves are very, very important to this dish. We have some fresh basil, some fresh parsley, garlic powder, garlic salt, cracked black pepper, shaved Parmesan. My favorite. Yeah, Pecorino Romano. We're gonna use these pastine, beautiful plum tomatoes that I, I kind of mash up into the mix. These cannellini beans, otherwise known as white beans, you can soak them yourself, you can use them out of the can. Pastine was originated in 1874, one of the first major distributors of Italian goods into the United States, which I found absolutely amazing. So I did some research on my family history, and in the turn of the century, 1900s, my family owned Pocasset Market. And they sold Pastine products, so that really is how I grew up as an Antlo American using Pastine, and that was the brand that I knew and loved, and my family loved, four generations, Pastine. First, we're gonna start with some olive oil. So how much olive oil do you put in? That way I can tell Jenny and she... I say, I would say like four tablespoons and some fresh garlic that I already minced for you. My favorite smell. So we're gonna start with that. Then we're gonna go with some uh, red chili flakes. We like it spicy. Yeah, spice that up. All right. So. We're gonna saute this. What do you keep this on high right now. Okay. Yep, I'm keeping it on high. And how long you saute it for? Um, I saute that for about um, three minutes. It starts toasting. That's the color right there. That is the best. The Dahlia onion is a sweet yellow onion. It's like a Spanish onion. It has a sweeter taste to it. It's unbelievable. And we're gonna saute this until it gets translucent. A little garlic salt. All right, we're gonna season everything up. A little garlic powder. And I do some cracked black pepper. Now I'm gonna hit it with a little water. And what's that water do like? You know, the water helps it to cook down without a lot of fat. 
So Pete, I like to use the celery stalks yeah. and the stems. So what I do now is I saute the celery, yeah. the onions, and the garlic, the red chili flakes, the garlic salt, garlic powder. I add some cracked black pepper, and I'm gonna let this reduce now and simmer. For about maybe 15 minutes until everything becomes tender and translucent. Now this is what's going in next. All right, I'm gonna You have me a kitchen. Tracy gave me this. Actually, we're not using this big can of kitchen ready today. We're gonna use these plump tomatoes. Also pastine. So here we go. We're gonna pour those right in. Perfect. We're cutting up these plump tomatoes, getting them all mixed in, and then we're gonna reduce these. Next, we're going to add a little more uh, red pepper flakes, some garlic powder, garlic salt, basil, fresh parsley, stems and all, and Pecorino Romano. So this is all going into the pot right now while the tomatoes are cooking. A pinch of this, a pinch of that, a pinch of that, and all of these ingredients. So let's start with the basil and parsley. We're gonna pour them right in. We're gonna go with some Pecorino Romano. A little garlic salt. Garlic powder. And a little more cracked pepper. Look how beautiful that color is. This is going to reduce for about a half hour on, on simmer. And the next step, we're going to add the beans when all the celery reduces and it becomes very, very tender. I had a little confession. When I was a kid, I did not like pasta and beans. So every time my mother would want to make pasta and beans, I would just say, you know what, just make me pasta with, with regular gravy. I didn't want <laughs> pasta and beans. Well, looking at this, it looks delicious. The beans are delicious. The beans are good for High sauce of protein, yeah, beautiful beans. I love the white beans and this dish, you know, pasta and beans. So what kind right? of beans are those again? Cannellini? Was it Cannellini. Cannellini beans, I like it. I gotta tell Here you. Here we go, we're pouring them right in. Jenny's Juice making this for me next week. You know, I like to press the beans to the side to kind of mush them up a little bit. Kind of makes the sauce a little thicker and richer. So this is going to kind of cook down on low simmer for about 20 minutes and then we're ready to add our pasta. Don't forget, salt the water. Yeah, okay. so you I saw you a do nice that. amount of salt. They always say your water should taste like the sea. Okay. Right? And um, I have some beautiful detalles here, 45s, that we're gonna put in. Oh, nice, and that's from Fasine too as well. Yes, from my gift basket. Love it. From Fasine. So. That's great, so now how long do you cook this for? Let's see. You know, I like al dente pasta, eight sure. minutes. So I'm taking the pasta with the water that I just boiled it in, and I'm pouring it right into the pasta beans because we need that water because it's going to absorb. We're gonna mix it all up. Look at that, oh my God. Is that beautiful or what? This is gonna sit like 15, 20 minutes, okay. get beautiful and thick, and I'm gonna serve you a nice bowl and a takeout for Jenny. All right, I love it. <laughs> I love it, I'll go pour all right. a glass of wine Here we go. Pee, I made it. Oh, look so at it. good, wow, it came up great. I grilled this beautiful bread for you. Look at that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to top it with some shaved Parmesan that I shaved earlier. I love the shaved Parmesan. Right? Oh, a little shy. piece right there. Yeah, nice. A little basil on the top. Woo, we got to spread it around. Spread the love. And then this uh, little garnish for you. Oh, it's the garnish. Can I eat that garnish? Absolutely. That's basil, right. baby. Wait, should I give you another piece of bread? Absolutely. You might want to dunk. Yeah. <laughs> a little pecorino. Oh, Woo! I know I put the parmesan, which I shaved, but I love a little pecorino. I feel it makes it creamy and rich. What do you think? What do you think? Mm. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do you really love it? I love it. What do you think of the beans? I love it. <laughs> this is tremendous. Thank you.